So today is going to have uh, we're going to have a demonstration of partial quotients. So when you do partial quotients, you set up your problem like this, so that you can put the partial quotients on the side. We're going to be working with multiples, um, with our friendly numbers to work with. So I'm going to be looking at 483 divided into 13 groups. So the first time I'm going to be looking at it and saying, all right, well, how do I? What if I say times 10? 13 times 10 is 130. I was just able to use 130 of the 483. When I subtract, I get 353 remaining that I haven't used yet. I'm going to go ahead and do times 10 again. That's another 130 that I'm able to put into those 13 groups. When I subtract, I have 223 remaining. I'm going to go ahead and do times 10 again. That's another 130. Now this time I'm going to have to regroup because 2 take away 3 is not possible to do. So I take one of these hundreds and break it into 10 parts and that becomes a 12. The 10 that I got here plus the 2 that were there. 12 take away 3 is 9. Now I can't do another times 10 because 130 is more than the 93 that I have. So I'm going to try um, times 5. Times 5, that's going to be half of this, so I have 65. Again, I'm going to have to regroup. 13, and I still have 28 left. I'm not sure, so I'm going to just do times 1. I have 15 left. That's enough to go in one more time. Times 1. And I have 2 left over here at the bottom. So now how many could I put into each group? The first time it was 10, plus 10 is 20, plus another 10 is 30, 35, 36, 37, and my remainder is 2. So there you see partial quotients, how we just a little bit at a time, we subtract from the original dividend until we get down so that our last number is smaller than our divisor.